so this is my Australian finger lamp um, and it's it's pretty thorny but um, this guy's decided that he's gonna come and sit here which is pretty cool he's beautiful it's a monarch butterfly it's nice eh? I thought I'd just show you guys couldn't resist uh, my catch just come out and this butterfly is so clever it's actually decided to um, close its wings up and be quiet and be still absolutely beautiful ok guys on to the video Good morning everybody, Belinda here. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, Alright, so I have a black canvas, so I'm going to be laying down some paint. So I'll just start off with um, my white and I'll see you in a bit. So this canvas is a 12 by 24 inch. I'm just deciding which colors to lay down first. And um, I'll go in with this green. This is just, um, it's called light green. Whether it <laughs> is or isn't, who knows. It is quite light. So I'm just going in with two stripes there and there and put some yellow down I would like some orange so I'll see how that goes and then I have this blue which I think I'm going to put I'll put that one there and that one there and then I have my well the deco art ice blue I want to put a little bit on top of this blue it might be a little bit too thick um, and put this one more towards the bottom So this white here is my bloom recipe white. Lay it there. Ooh. I touched the paint. So what I'm using for my swap is some cling wrap or food wrap and I have folded it over so it does not touch um, the rest of my paint.
Mm. I think it's going to look pretty. So I'll just need to touch up those sides there. Just laying down some white, so I don't want the canvas showing. So I'm hoping to actually get some blooms done, and because um, I'm actually quite enjoying that. I need to go out and buy a hair dryer though, a proper the one that, that gets cool. Let's just give that a torch. I can see some beautiful cells coming up already. I'll just torch that. Hopefully some more of these cells will pop up. really is um, quite pretty colours. I'm quite liking that. And popping bubbles and um, really like these in white cells. Very pretty. So what I'm going to do, I'm thinking, is um, I'm going to do some balloon rolls and balloon kisses. Very, very nice. So this is also part of my garden series. <laughs> it's probably the wrong time of the year for spring for a lot of you. Actually, it's not even spring here, it's summer. really looking gorgeous there's a couple of things on here that I'm actually not uh, too happy with don't really like it so I think what I'm gonna do is um, do a couple of balloon kisses this is a water balloon And I've got these flowery cells again. I'm not too sure why that is. I've got it the last time in my swipe as well. A little strange. I mean, they are not strange. It's strange that I get them. I'm not 100% sure why it is. And um, I don't mind them, especially the ones that look a little nicer than the rest. And there's quite a few things here that I do actually like. So I'm going to take this balloon. Now there's quite a bit of paint along here that I can see. Get rid of that. Mm. 
that would have been from you know the, the other layer of paint so I think um, I'm just seeing which is the better option to go this way or that way I guess um, either way it should look good still a bit too much white there that's better that's so pretty um, <laughs> and I'm still debating whether I wanted to use the bigger ball, uh, balloon or this one It's very white, very, very white. Let's see if I can pick up some paint from here or there. And probably around about here. What I like about doing the double ones is um, it has this bit of a, a 3D effect. So nice. Now that's pretty cool. It's subtle, but pretty. to try and do you know I'm new at these balloon rolls so <laughs> anything could happen um I would like to do quite a a biggish roll I like that there because it's it's kind of bent over already I do love all of this here um I don't want to take away too much of, of what I have there. So, ooh, that's nice. Ooh, <laughs> that's very nice. Ooh, I like that. Um. I don't want to do overkill. So I might just do one or two smaller ones over here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Because I'm actually going to, that's the way I'm thinking it should be. It's quite um, light in some places. A little bit lighter than I would have liked. But with it being subtle, I do like that as well. And then I'm going to give it a couple more balloon kisses. So we've got one there. Let's do one there. Oh, 
Oh, they so white. Why? I know over here there is some colour coming through. So I might just double dip in some places. It's pretty. Yes. Ah, oh, George, I think we've got it. There's a bit of canvas showing here and I don't mind it too much because remembering that I started with a black canvas so it just adds a little bit of depth um, it's a pity I didn't have some orange come through I would have liked that actually I'm a little uncertain what to do about the top here so maybe we just do a couple of these along the top just to kind of frame it Three, four, five, six. <laughs> I'm always counting my my art. It's all about the numbers. That's pretty. That's going to turn out very pretty. Maybe. Um. I might just roll this onto the end. Very pretty. Alright guys, I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. I believe I'm done. I wonder if I did one of these little ones in the centre. I do like to do this and then twist it. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, give it a little twist. And it just changes it up a bit. Do that one. Be really gentle otherwise the canvas will show through. Alright guys I'm gonna bring you in for a close-up. I love this. I think it's got some serious prettiness to it. I think I've got the, the balloon rolls almost down pat like um it's not as difficult as it actually looks I think the and even these cells have um, turned out so nice if I show you look at this here 
this is the section that I didn't really want to disturb. You see how it just bends over like that? <laughs> just out of nowhere. So I think that um, I'm very happy with this. It's quite minimalistic. But really effective. And these little balloon kisses that I did at the top, just to kind of frame it a bit. And I really like the white cells that have popped up on top of the colors. They're just floating, they're hanging out on top of the colors. It kind of looks like a, something sitting on top of a flower. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I haven't decided. And to see the paints that I have used, um, just click on the See More under the description box. And, um, and there you will see links to my paints. I'll show you from this angle. I can't quite get the whole thing in. Maybe like that. Hey okay, guys, so, um, thanks again for watching and um, I appreciate all the wonderful comments that you always leave. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.